Introducing Alwyn's Incredible Journey. Discover the beauty, mystery, and symbolism of 111 birds from all over the world. Once upon a time, in the heart of the lush and green forest, there lived a cheerful and fluffy bear named Alwyn. Alwyn was a bear who loved to relax under the shade of the tall trees, watching the world around him. His favorite pastime was observing the busy activities of the forest, and he especially enjoyed watching the colorful birds fluttering from tree to tree. Alwyn had a particular fascination with birds. He marveled at their vibrant feathers and sweet melodies. Every day he would sit in his favorite spot and count how many different kinds of birds he could find. It became a fun game for him, and he loved trying to beat his own record each day. One sunny afternoon, while Alwyn was lazily lounging by a babbling brook, he overheard some excited voices nearby. Curious, he followed the sounds until he stumbled upon a group of bird watchers. They were talking animately about their plans for a big year in bird watching. Intrigued by the mysterious big year, Alwyn couldn't help but eavesdrop on their conversation. The bird watchers explained that a big year was a special challenge where they set out to spot as many different birds as possible in a single year. They carried around a special book filled with pictures of birds, marking off each one they spotted. This idea sparked a fire in Alwyn's adventurous spirit. He decided that he too wanted to have a big year and set out to spot as many birds as he could. First, he needed to get one of those special bird books the bird watchers had. So with newfound determination, Alwyn embarked on a journey to find the perfect book for his grand adventure. After some searching, he found a charming bird book filled with colorful illustrations. Alwyn couldn't wait to start marking off the birds he discovered. He began planning his big year adventure, listing all the different places he would visit in the vast and diverse forest. Alwyn, the adventurous bear, was determined to embark on his big year journey. He would first start by traveling all over the United States. Armed with his trusty bird book and a heart full of excitement, he set off on a grand adventure. First, he spots an American robin, and then the beautiful red cardinal. And then there was the blue jay, the beautiful morning dove. He made friends with the house sparrow, and in the woodlands he found an American goldfinch. How beautiful is that? In the wetlands of the Midwest, he encountered a red-winged blackbird. And heading toward the northern woodlands, he also discovered the lively black-capped chickadee. Chickadee-dee-dee. Alwyn had discovered so many birds in the United States, he thought it was time to start traveling even further. So he started heading toward Canada. In the tranquil lakes of Canada, he marveled at the haunting calls of the common loon. He traveled all across Canada and found so many different birds. He was in awe of every single one. But he decided it was time to go even further. So he thought, I know, I'll visit the United Kingdom to see what birds I can find there. In the rolling hills, he encountered the charismatic rook, a black-plumed bird known for its intelligence and social behavior. And in the English gardens, he found a green finch flitting among the flowers. He traveled far and wide all across the United Kingdom, from England to Wales to Scotland and Ireland, and he decided he would head on another journey. This time he was going to explore Russia. In the lush wetlands, Alwyn has observed the common reed bunting with its subtle yet distinctive markings. He made friends with the intelligent Eurasian magpie. Look how beautiful they are. 
After traveling all around Russia, he decides it's time to go even further. So off to India he went. In the bustling cities and along the coastal areas, he met the Indian house crow. These clever and adaptable birds with their sleek black plumage thrived in urban environments, creating a lively presence in the midst of human activities. He traveled all over India, encountering many exotic and vibrant, beautiful birds. After traveling all over India and seeing all these beautiful birds, he decides it's time to move on to China. So off he went to explore some new lands. China certainly did not disappoint. In rural landscapes and grassy fields, he observed the vibrant plumage of the common pheasant. Look how beautiful. In the wooded areas, he found a red-billed blue magpie. Alwyn's birdwatching adventure in China became a journey through a diverse range of ec ecosystems, from rural landscapes to bustling cities. With each new encounter, he deepened his appreciation for the unique beauty and cultural significance of the birds that graced the Chinese landscapes. But it was time to move on. And now, where is he off to next? Can you guess? He's headed to Brazil. In the lush gardens and tropical forests, he marveled at the banana quit. <laughs> These small and energetic birds with their distinctive black, yellow, and white plumage flitted among the flowers, sipping nectar with their slender bills. In the grassy fields, the saffron finch caught Alwyn's eye. Alwyn was in awe of all the beautiful, vibrant birds he encountered in Brazil. But now, it's time to move on. One more stop before going back home. So where does Alwyn go now? He's headed to Australia. Down under, mate. In the open spaces and urban areas, Alwyn observed the Australian magpie with its distinctive black and white plumage and melodic song. The magpie added a touch of elegance to both cityscapes and open fields. And among the blossoming trees, he saw a rainbow lorikeet. Look how vibrant and beautiful this bird is. Alwyn's big year had taken him across continents, from the dense forests of North America to the vast landscapes of Australia. Along the way, he had marveled at the beauty of birds, learned about their habitats, and discovered the joy of bird watching. With his trusty book filled with notes and memories, Alwyn realized that the true essence of his big year wasn't just about ticking off a list, but about appreciating the incredible diversity of bird life and the natural world. Here's a list of all 111 birds. How many can you find in your area where you live? 